Alright, so that means that our true work is in creating between us such an environment, atmosphere, common thought and approach that everything that is revealed is revealed as necessary in order for us to complete it, to come to the middle line. Just like he says, the, the candle isn't useful. You need darkness without darkness. You need darkness for the candle to be useful. So the creator can't be useful unless there's a contradiction before him that a person feels. Everything is revealed in the attaining person. So all the difficulties that we discover, we need to attribute them to what? For them to be connect, connected to the providence of the Creator as good that does good and none else besides Him. So when I'm connected constantly to none else besides Him and benevolent, I need to feel at each moment how I receive treatment. And all different forms of disconnection come over me. Disconnection from none else besides him and his benevolence. And then I begin to study my nature, opposite from the quality and reign of the Creator. And the extent to which there are many characteristics in it, many types. And in the effort to determine that it's none else but him and benevolent, and this way I try to complement it, and in this way grow. That's why love will cover all transgressions, and above all, since the greatness of the Creator will come. And that's why we have the surrender, division, and mitigation, or sweetening. The surrender, first of all, because I need to come to a state in which everything comes from above. Division that it comes from the Creator in order for me to complement it, to complete it. And the mitigation is in coming to a state where I'm with heart and soul as a part of it and I've completed it with the greatness of the Creator, overcoming all the gaps that I feel that once were between what was desired and what was had. And in this way, I overcome all the contradictions and complete them. And this is how we progress through life in every single situation, as much as we're able and ready to do, as much as we prepare ourselves, then at the same rate, the upper providence acts on us and shows us contradictions of providence and problems and everything is arranged only to a state to discover that it's not the Creator, that, that it's not the Creator, rather some, some chance or some messengers bring me all sorts of problems and sorrows, and I must, through the ten, with everyone together, not alone, to connect the whole ten to it and to try to come to the unity between us and to those same awakening problems to see treatment in it from above as much as he's given from above to grow me then we will discover how much everything, all the sorrow that comes to us in awakening of uncalm and fears, trepidations. Like King David writes, you, um, you hid your face and I was afraid. It's as if he suffers in our place. This is how we attain the perfection of providence according to the perfection of our work. Questions? Everything is clear, right? What, what, what? 